Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about types of generators. First of all, how uh, how can we divide the types of generators? There are many types of generators. Those can be divided by the depending upon the field winding and armature winding. First of all, how can we represent the field winding and armature winding in electrical? So electrical representation of field winding is like this terminals r f double f and electrical representation of armature winding can be like this this is armature a double a so upper rectangles uh, below rectangle are the brushes and center circle can be represented as a armature this is field winding this is armature winding by the connection of these two windings we can divide two types separately separately excited dc generator and self excited dc generator first of all what do you mean by excitation excitation means the energy or source provided to the field winding so the source is applied to the field winding to provide the to produce the flux around the field winding so by giving the source to the excitation i mean to the field winding the current will flows through the field winding then the because of the electromagnetic induction principle the magnetic flux will be developed in the field winding so to produce or to induce the emf we need two parameters first one is flux and another one is armature conductors so conductors so armature conductors can be called as armature winding flux can be produced by the field winding so these two parameters are the very important parameters so flux can be produced by giving the external source to the field winding armature conductors are rotating conductors by giving the mechanical energy as a input energy so this excitation this excitation i mean the source will be provided in two ways separately and self self means this is a generator which produces current so it is a generator which induces an emf and it which is caused to produce current when circuit will be closed so we can use this current to excite this field winding so that can be called as self excitation if we provide the external source to the field winding then it is called as a separate excitation because of the it is separately we are giving the external battery to the field winding to excitation uh, for excitation so now i can draw the separate excit dc generator separate excit means just we can give external source external battery plus or minus to the field winding and the armature winding can induce an emf armature winding is induced plus and minus so armature current will be passed through armature winding to the terminal so this is armature winding this is external current that can be indicated as it i terminal current or il load current so this is the load voltage vl or terminal voltage this is the diagram for external uh, sorry separately excited dc generator for self excited dc generator there are three types in self excitation first one is series dc generator second one is shunt dc generator third one is compound dc generator i can tell you clearly about these three types of generators series dc generator means when we connect these two windings as a series connection then that machine can be called as series dc generator so i can draw the series dc generator here there is a armature winding and there is a field winding these two windings are connected in series series connection so this is a series generator dc generator this is armature this is field winding field winding resistance can be represented as rse because of the series resistance so this is a plus and minus load voltage and 
load current IL. Now I can draw the shunt DC generator by connecting these two windings in parallel uh, parallel connection. Then that can be called as shunt DC generator. So I have field winding, I have armature winding. So by connecting these two windings in a parallel connection, that can be called as shunt DC generator. This is a series series. This is shunt DC generator okay this is armature plus and minus load voltage and current can be load current this is in represented by rsh because of the shunt resistance now the current induced current armature current can be flowing through armature winding and some current is passed through the shunt field winding then this is called ISH. Then the when the current is flowing through the shunt field winding, this winding can be excited and the flux can be produced across the field winding. The remaining current will be passed through the load. So that is called as IL. Now I can draw the compound generators. Again, compound generators can be divided into two types: short shunt, short shunt compound generator. Second one is long shunt long shunt compound generator how we can draw the short shunt compound generator long shunt compound generator there is a small difference between short shunt long shunt i can tell you clearly so we have there are two windings field winding and armature winding so armature winding is same but I will draw. So this is armature winding. So we can divide two parts. The field winding can be divided into two parts. Half part can be drawn across the armature winding. Remaining half part is connected in series with the resultant of I mean parallel connection of shunt field winding and armature winding. Okay, this is a remaining part. So the field winding can be divided into two parts. Half part can be connected into parallel connection. Remaining half part is connected in series with the re resultant connection. So this is the shunt connection is only connected parallel to the armature winding. So this is a short shunt dish generator. This is load voltage and this is the load current. And now coming to the long shunt. So long shunt means the shunt winding is connected in parallel to the both the two windings i mean armature winding and series winding i will draw here please observe it there is a series winding and armature winding so the parallel connection i mean shunt connection shunt winding field winding is connected across both the armature winding and series winding then it is called long shunt long shunt DC generator plus and minus this is the load current this is the load voltage this is long shunt this is short shunt this is shunt this is series generator these are the five types of DC generators separately excited series excitation shunt excitation and short shunt compound generator long shunt compound generator these are the five types of generators observe here DC generators can be divided into two types self excitation separate excitation separate excitation means we are providing the external source to the field winding to excite the field winding self excitation means the internal generated current can be flowing through the field winding then the field winding will be excited so those comes under self excited series excited means field winding is in series with the armature winding shunt excited shunt DC generator means the field winding is in parallel with the armature winding. Compound generator means the combination of series and parallel. So file field winding is connected in parallel and series with the armature winding that can be into that can be called as compound generator. Long shunt means the shunt field winding is connected across the both the armature and series winding. Short shunt means the field winding, shunt field winding is only connected in parallel with the armature winding. Those these are the types different types of generators 
now we will move to the separately accessed disk generator see here already told you this field winding is provided with the separate source this is a vf field voltage this is the rf field resistance so this is the easy generated emf rm means armature resistance il line current or load current this is the load voltage so when the field field voltage is connected across the field winding then the field current is passed through the field winding field resistance then the field winding will be excited magnetic flux will be produced across the field winding so by cutting this flux by cutting this flux we are inducing emf so already the faraday's law 1 says that when a rotating conductor placed in a magnetic field then emf will be induced across the conductor so already we have a mechanical energy there is a turbine so this turbine is rotating by rotating the turbine the armature will be rotated this is all about separate legs like disc generator now we will move to the self excited disc generator there are two types series disc generator shunt disc generator by connecting the series field winding in series with the armature winding this is called a series generator the shunt resistance i mean shunt winding is connected in parallel with the armature winding then it is called shunt disc generator so here there is an important point already there is a residual flux in the field poles so in the field poles there is a residual flux residual flux the poles are uh, created a residual flux because of the residual flux we are cutting already the armature is rotating with the some speed rated speed so this rotating conductor is placed in a residual flux so when we place in a residual flux this flux will be cut by the armature conductors so when the flux cut by the armature conductors armature conductors will be produced or uh, induced emf this emf will cause to flow the current when we connect the load when we connect the load this emf will cause to flow the current that is the load current this current will pass through the series field winding okay this when we when the current will passes through the field winding this field winding will be produced magnetic flux so this flux will be all, uh, again cut by the armature conductors because of the input energy mechanical energy again emf will be increased ez will be increased so when we emf will be induced the current will flows through the field winding again magnetic flux field flux will be increased so according to this loop this is the according to this loop the emf will be generated so at a maximum rated current will passes through the ma ma field winding the flux will be stopped producing every field winding has a rated current so if we increase the current in the field winding but the magnetic flux will be stopped because of it is it is uh, reached the saturation point so after the saturation point there is no flux will be produced in the field winding so if we write the current equation armature current is producing armature current is equal to the series current that is also equal to the load current now we apply the kvl kirchhoff voltage law generated source energy ez is equal to there is a drop in armature ia ra plus there is a load voltage this is the voltage equation this is the current equation now developed power equation is developed power is equal to developed voltage i mean generated voltage into generated current that is easy into ia delivered power how much energy how much power will be delivered delivered voltage load voltage into delivered current il these are the necessary or required equations for series generator now coming to the shunt generator there is a internal residual flux so we when we cut the residual flux by the conduct armature conductors emf will be induced this emf will cause to flow the current so initially there is no load connected so the generated current will passes through the shunt field winding so this field winding gets excited excited and flux will be produced across the field winding so this flux will be cut by the armature conductors again then again emf will be induced generated emf will be induced again the current is in increased so after reaching the saturation point this 
field winding uh, stopped producing magnetic flux current will pass through the load so current equation armature current is divided into two parts shunt current and load current so ia is equal to shunt current plus load current il this is the current equation voltage equation now apply the kvl in this loop then ez is equal to ia ra drop plus vl if there is a brush drop then we add v brush here also for series generator also if we had if it is having brush drop voltage then we add v brush okay so developed power and delivered power formulas are same for shunt generator now coming to the compound generator there are two field windings so shunt field winding series field winding so here the current equation is ia is equal to ish plus ise because series field winding carries the current ise now ISC is equal to IL because series current is always equal to the load current. Same current will flow through the load. Now the shunt field winding carries the shunt current and voltage across the shunt field winding is VL is equal to ISH into RSH. So we can calculate ISH is equal to load voltage by RSH. And by applying the cable in this loop, we can write the voltage equation. Generator current is equal to IA RA plus ISC RSC plus VL. Here I am not adding the brush drop voltage. If we have, we can add it. Now coming to the long shunt compound generator, here there is a small difference in equations. So current equation here IA is equal to ISC because armature current generator current armature current is flowing through the series series field winding so this series field winding is divided into that is equal to ish plus il now voltage equation apply kvl in this loop then ez is equal to ia ra plus isc rsc plus vl okay this is the generated voltage equation so these are the necessary equations for types of generators i hope you can understand the types of these generators if we, if you need notes or material for this concept you can comment your mail id in the comment box thank you thank you very much mm -hmm.